morning traders. Welcome to the Asian preview of the North American wrap from Privateer FX. Uh, let's hop right into this first chart because this is a uh, this is a, it was a crazy day. It makes me uh, wonder why I'm trading currencies and not just cryptocurrencies. Here's a daily chart of the Bitcoin. As you can see here, we had this you know this parabolic rise. Take a look at the weekly. This is just an unbelievable chart. You know, this is tulip bubble. This is dot com bubble, pets.com, you name it. You could overlay this with a lot of different charts. That's the weekly of what it's done. So in just in the past few days, we've gone from breaking this uh, 8,400 level, broke 10,000 this morning, and it as it broke 10,000, it also broke 11,000, went th up to 11,500. It was up about 15% at one point today. And you can see how we have a doji day forming right now. Take a look at this hourly price action. This is just crazy. Had a little little spinning top here. Decent down move, took out a few hours of the lows, and then check out this bar from a couple hours ago. We went from 10,500 roughly to 8,600. This all happened in, you know, it wasn't long. I mean, you can see it was about a half an hour where we went negative on the day, went all the way down to 8,600, rallied back up to 10,500, and now we're settling on change in the day. So, you know, technicians out there are going to be looking at this, uh, at this doji, this is a pretty powerful candle. Uh, you know, we took out three days of lows, got close to retesting this old breakout, and uh, we're going to pay close attention to this. It was interesting this morning, pretty much right on the open, there was some heavy NASDAQ selling. Uh, before we get to the NASDAQ, let's take a look at Ethereum. Here's another popular one, uh, cryptocurrency. Same thing, we went up to about 520 after it took out this 493. And then, you know, reversed one, two, three, four, took out four days of lows, matched this old low from the 24th, and uh, it has an outside reversal day. So this one's an outside reversal day. Bitcoin is forming a perfect doji. It's slightly up now, super volatile. Coinbase was down. Um, they were having problems processing some of the, uh, the, the high volume that were going through today. And uh, I know for a fact that people were, were struggling to get anything done. Um, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Here's the, the NASDAQ uh, daily chart. They pretty much sold it right from the get-go. Um, take a look here. Here's the opening. That's, that's a little bit earlier. Tomorrow. Here's, here's kind of the open in, in here where we went from the 6420 area. It went straight down. The FANG stocks got hammered. They were all down five, six percent. And it's interesting how uh, it did recover a bit, and but still closing pretty weak, right around the 6,300 level. Uh, what's interesting is, as the Nasdaq was down about one and a half, two percent, Bitcoin was on its was making all-time highs and up about 15 percent. So, and uh, and once the Nasdaq started, the selling pressure became more uh, more fierce. Bitcoin actually turned offered, so you can tell that there's there is some correlation there. We're going to be running some correlation studies on uh, on Nasdaq S and P's and Bitcoin, and uh, but I think today the Nasdaq led uh, led Bitcoin by a couple hours. Um, it's interesting. It's just uh, you know pure flight to safety type risk off type move here you see bitcoins now back positive another day 10,100 um, super volatile as you can see here is about a 25 percent range today from 15 uh, percent up to 10 percent down and now we're closing slightly higher so you know the, the top may not be in but i do suspect if we see a doji day today you know maybe we get a little bit of a correction and I drew some Fibonacci levels here. You see how we got uh, pretty close, 8,500, 8,505 is a half of this recent swing. And this is kind of the parabolic stage, this last advance 
Uh, you can just see the trajectory of this. It's massive. So that's the uh, that's the crypto where all the excitement was. Uh, Euro dollar small reversal higher day after a couple down days. Again, Nasdaq not looking too uh, too too good after today's price action. Friday's close is extremely important. We need to uh, if you take a look at the weekly Nasdaq. Uh, take a look at the weekly Nasdaq for a uh, we're looking waiting for an outside reversal week and we you know we could get it this week if we close you know just below this uh, last week's low which was 6291 uh, we're just above that now so we'll be watching that the next couple of trading days uh, what else so yeah euro didn't do much uh, cable take a look at the uh, take a look at the cable chart after we had the uh, we had the big uh, big move up yesterday on the positive Brexit uh, comments that were coming out of uh, out of the FT and the Telegraph, and that reversal higher day. And today, you know, pretty much opened up, went straight up. We did fail up at this 134.50, which is uh, an old high. This 55.60, some old daily highs, uh, but it's still closing strong here at 134, above 134.10. So we'll be watching watching this and, and looking for more retracements uh, higher. Let's pop over to the Sterling chart where I drew some Fibonacci levels here on the daily. You see we have this uh, two-thirds Fibo at uh, 134.16, which we breached intraday, closing kind of right on it. And then the next target would be way up here at the three-quarter Fib at 135.20. And... Uh, you know, no, no real new news out of uh, out of the UK and out of Europe. Uh, as far as uh, the tax reform goes, it's it's still in the works. They are uh, they'll be voting on it either tomorrow or on uh, or on fr or on Friday. Uh, as far as economic data ahead, we do have uh, in. Um, in Asia, we've got uh, private out of Australia the private capital expenditure number, which can be Aussie can be sensitive to that to a miss. It's expected 1.1 percent, and then we have uh, China manu China manufacturing PMI and non manufacturing PMI a little bit later. Again, that uh, Aussie can uh, can can move if we have you know decent misses in those. Um, and then as far as uh, going into uh, European Thursday morning, we have German retail sales, uh, German unemployment change. We have the all-important CPI, core CPI flash estimate out of Europe, out of the Eurozone. And uh, and then in uh, in Chicago, and uh, we have the Chicago PMI in the New York morning. And uh, we have a couple of Fed speakers in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it for the calendar. So it's not a whole lot to uh, sink our teeth in, too. But uh, that should do it. Keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on Bitcoin. Again, that seems to be the what everyone's trading these days. And I do think there's some good opportunities. Here we are now, 10,002. 270. So it looks like the uh, there's might be some early Asia buyers, which we we, we see quite a lot. Uh, it's you know pretty much saved itself. Ethereum, on the other hand, is still uh, outside reversal day lower. Okay, good luck trading, and we will speak down the European Open. Mm -hmm.